to the first day of the best of your life. I am Astarius Miraculi and I bring you today a message on the eternal moments of love to come into the awareness that love is an eternal frequency that love is the antidote whatever it is that we are needing a solution to is the vibration of love that is the solution everything can be solved by virtue of the resonance of love because love is the vibration of, of source it's the vibration of, of God love is the vibration of that most exalted something that we all are it's time for us to be in the eternal remembrance of love. You know, when you're in love with someone, you're having a rendezvous with eternity because love is the face of eternity. When you're in love with someone, you're having a rendezvous with God. You're having a rendezvous with ecstasy and just as we can remember painful experiences that happened many years ago and then we begin to hurt as badly as we hurt in the moment of that pain in the human experience we have a way of regurgitating the painful experiences of our life because we place focused attention upon horrible past experiences and in focusing that attention we once again begin to breathe life into those painful moments and those painful experiences and so now it's time for us to breathe life into the frequency of love to breathe the frequency of love into every experience to pour out the baptism of, of love upon whatever it is that you might be going through in your life you can reactivate experiences of love you see when we fall in love with someone it's not like love suddenly comes into being when we fall in love with that individual love was there before we fell in love with that individual love was there before bodies circled in together and love is there when bodies circle out from each other because love is eternal resonance 
So now it's time for us to place focused attention upon the vibration of love. Even if the person who you were so deeply in love with are long gone now in a body, the frequency of love that you shared with them is eternal resonance. All you have to do is open your heart and commemorate the glory of those past delicious moments that you shared with them and then you will experience a reactivation of that frequency because love is bigger than bodies circling in together. See when bodies circle in together this becomes the means by which love becomes incarnated. See bodies interacting with each other, souls interacting with each other become the incarnation of love just as we have come into embodiment and here we are in these physical bodies having a physical dance you know being a spiritual being having a physical experience but the spiritual essence of who we are the intangibility of our being it's reality before bodies. Bodies are the means by which the soul and the spirit comes into incarnation. Bodies circling in in love become the means by which love comes into incarnation. So we want to be an incarnation of love when we are engaging with others in a physical sense to share that love and also when it's just us. Because even your own individual selfhood can be the sacred container for the male and female principles to be that resonance of love, to be that resonance of relationship that takes place within the inner sanctum of your own being. There is also a oneness of wholeness of love. So even if you have the most wonderful beloved in your life right now, and you have this great dance of love, don't stop just with them. Ask the Creator, say, Divine Creator, give a counterpart of this experience of love to every other being in all existence. Because when there is a divine moment of love taking place, it is meant to reach out and empower every other moment of love and in turn be empowered by every other moment of love. Just as there is a oneness of wholeness of being, there is a oneness of wholeness of love. And when it comes to love, it's not really a matter of your love and my love and his love and her love. Love is an infinite field of frequency, an infinite and ecstatic field of frequency. And each of us partake of the frequency of love in the way that we can by virtue of our own evolvement and enlightenment. Each of us becomes a means by which love gets to experience a whole new version of itself. See, nobody can do love exactly like you. Nobody can do love exactly like me. Each and every one of us become this expression of love in our own unique ways. We give love the opportunity to achieve a very specialized incarnation through our own being. So let's individually tap into this infinite field of love vibration, this infinite field of ecstasy. And be in the awareness. See, you want to let love love you. See, the bigger reality is it's greater than being in love with this or that individual. Yes, there's that reality on the human level. But on the greater level, when you're in love with an individual, the deeper reality is 
that you are in love with love. And the dance between you and that individual, once again, is the means by which that love achieves incarnation through the dance that you share with them. You're always in love with love. And therefore, you want to be about the business of letting love love you. See, let love have its way with you. There's a whole lot of beings and a whole lot of things you don't want to let have their way with you. But love, let love have its way with you. See, the greater truth is love is not something that you do. Love is something that is doing you. Do you do love or does love do you? Well, it's a matter that love is doing you. You're not doing love. Love is doing you. Love is moving through. I mean, when you look at the experience of being in love, one of the things that you will notice is that it's such an effortless vibration. You didn't intellectually say, I'm going to fall in love with this or that one. It was a natural occurrence because love then was beginning to have its way with you. And at the cellular level, you were in the awareness that you were having a rendezvous with God. So you want to take this frequency of love and pour out the baptism upon every aspect of your life. Every difficulty, every woe, every trial, every tribulation. Pour out the baptism of love upon those vibrations or those experiences. All energies were originally pure. And they will come back. To their native purity. Let love love you. You see, you let love love you when you are aware that you are pregnant with every blessing that will ever come to be. That they are embryos within your soul, even though your human eyes have yet to see. So matter no matter no matter what it is that you want in life, beloved. It already is as an intangible embryo in the womb of your soul. You let love love you when you are in the awareness that all the blessings that you seek, you already have. Even if they have not birthed into manifestation, they still represent an intangible reality. And those intangible realities are very significant in that they are the resonance of eternity. Everything that is intangible is of spirit and unfolds down the corridors of forever. Whereas the tangible things of life, the physical things of life, have an expiration date. That's the nature of physicality. That's the nature of materiality. So all of our blessings are born out of an intangible feel of eternal resonance. That's what the Holy Scripture was talking about when it said, So God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, said, Let there be light, and there was light. So here is the Creator about to create the earth. And yet the earth is spoken of as a reality that exists already, except it was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And so it is with all of the blessings that we seek. Sometimes they are without form and they are void. And sometimes we're pregnant with those blessings for a little bit longer. We have a longer period of gestation. You know, when we see a woman who gets pregnant. Some women give birth at the standard nine months. Some give birth at six months, seventh months, eight months. Some take 10 months. And yet the value of the baby is the same, no matter whether the birth is happening at six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 months. Mama who's 10 months or longer, period of gestation is just a little bit longer. Sometimes we're pregnant with our blessings for just a little bit longer. But we want to honor the inner life force of the blessing that is carried within the womb of the soul. 
to ensure that we will give birth to a healthy blessing. It's okay if you have to wait for a minute. Ultimately, it will come. You let love love you when you celebrate love everywhere you see it. How do you feel, beloved, when you look and you see two beloveds having a delicious experience of love? Do you feel envy? Do you feel jealous? Or do you deeply celebrate and say, oh my God, what a delightful experience I'm having through those parts of me. When you say that, you then align the telepathic battery cables and you initiate the soul jump start and you jump start yourself into this experience of love. Remember the moments that you had a delightful love experience with a beloved and even if that person is no longer there Reactivate that love frequency. If you're a parent, remember those moments that you were so sacredly proud of your child and you felt this deep love because of how they were progressing in their life. Even if this is a stage where they're running amok now, let your heart go back to those moments when you had so much sacred pride in how they were living their life and reactivate that frequency. And by seeing that, you uplift your own vibration and you make this amazing deposit in their soul bank to help bring them back into alignment with exalted behavior. You know, remember the delicious moments that you had great connection with your siblings and feel the eternal resonance of that love vibration. You know, all of the wonderful experiences of love Bring them back into being. Let love love you. You let love love you when you open to all of the parallel moments of love and you recognize that you are a biological living library containing the knowledge of all that is, was, or ever will be. And that every experience of love exists within you because you carry a cell for every man, woman, and child, for every angel and ascended master, for every ocean, mountain, and stream, for every mineral, plant, and animal, for every elemental star and galaxy, for you are the master sail, who is the microcosmic container of the macrocosmic all that is. Let love love you. You let love love you when you follow God's example of love and you love every being and you believe in the possibility of redemption for every being. You believe in the possibility of every being exemplifying the highest that they could possibly express, whether that's what they're expressing or not. You let love love you when you hold that vision. Because that which you give unto the drop, you give unto the ocean. The way in which you bless the drop, you bless the ocean. So I'm going to offer some um, vocal harmonics now. And I want you to allow yourself to resonate with this deep energy of the love vibration. way with you.
when you sing love songs <clears throat> to yourself. Imagine that you were singing this song to yourself. I'm going to win my heart because I deserve the love in me. I'm opening by saying how I love me, I love me, I love me, I love me, I love me. There's nothing I need do in order to earn the love in me. I simply love myself because I'm being, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being. God made it so and said that my soul is made of love. Come on and rock it me, rock it me, rock it me, rock it me, rock it me. Rock it my soul into the heavens above. I'm sending fear to its grave. I'm tearing down the walls around my heart. I'm glad that fear is dead forevermore. The fear is gone because it never was real. La 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 and may you win your heart because you deserve the love in you i'm praying that you start right now to love you, to love you, to love you, to love you, to love you. The loving day has dawned to teach us how to truly be in love. We are forever one and free. Hmm. Ride the wings of love, beloved. Let your heart be in an amazing state of gratitude. I am so grateful for the breath that I breathe and the awareness that it is the movement of God within me. I am so grateful for the clarity of my vision and the sharpness of my hearing. I am so grateful to focus my vision upon that which gives exaltation to my soul and to hear that which gives expansion to my being. I am so grateful to see God within me and within the all that is and to believe in the divine redemption of myself and all others. I am so grateful that God, Goddess Absolute, has given me the sacred gift of eternal being and that when I, or that when all of my trials and woes have faded into dust, I will remain. I am so grateful. 
I am so grateful to be empowered by everything and that I gracefully learn from all my experiences. I am so grateful that regarding myself and all, I have an eternally forgiving heart. I am so grateful to love and appreciate my being and to know that I make a monumental impact upon the expansion of life and the universe. I am so grateful that I made it through the birth canal alive and well and to have evolved to my current state of being. I am so grateful to have learned from all of my mistakes and to be a richer being, not so much in spite of the mistakes, but because of them. To be in love with someone is to keep sacred company with eternity and in truth to be in love with love. To be in love is to ride the wings of God, Goddesshood and to exemplify the power and the wisdom and the peace that is infinite. To truly be in love is to see the face of God in the beloved and to know that they are spiritual royalty. Love is the fruit of infinity. And so I'm going to offer now a little bit of my didgeridoo. It's always good to offer some of that vibration to uh, add a little spice to this moment. And uh, you are the residence of love, beloved. You are that eternal reality and that is your antidote for whatever your trials and woes might happen to be so let love love you and let love have its way with you and know that you're not doing love but love is doing you
Life is beautiful, beloved. Life is so precious, so amazingly wonderful. And so we want to come home to ourselves, come home to the light, come home to the love, come home to the peace, come home to the power, come home to the joy. Let there be God, capstone of my soul, unfailing spirit, fulfill my goals. Let there be power in the word of my mouth. I conquer with faith, dissolve fear and doubt. Let there be wisdom as the fuel of my knowledge. Let it be ablaze within my heart. I must be consistent in the game of life, that wisdom may finish what knowledge did start. Let there be love in the work of my hand. My life is a blessing unto God and man and woman. Let there be peace as the wings of my mind. O sun of serenity, around me shine. Let there be joy of truth bubbling in my soul. O oh, dissolver of sadness, come make me whole. Let there be abundance raining down upon me, my life be enriched with prosperity. And there is the fulfillment of let there be, for life will always give me, but as far as I can see. Let there be, let there be, let there be. And there is and there was, and there ever shall be. Let love love you. Be in the resonance of the eternal moments of love. Be in the awareness that love is an eternal happening that love can never be missing, that the only thing that can be missing is focused attention upon it. And we have the power to place our attention upon love. And when you place your attention upon love, you allow love to love you. For love is not something that we do, but rather something that we allow, because it is an eternal, resonance of divine expression and all we have to do is get into the stream of that flow and let it carry us forward so we're in a cycle right now of many challenges and initiations mercury goes retrograde today i'm going to shoot a video on that a little bit later today i'm probably going to do that one live on our youtube but I, I will also post it on Facebook. Uh, but Mercury goes retrograde today, and um, then in a couple days from now, there is the lunar eclipse, which is uh, at um, five degrees of Aquarius. is conjuncting and it's also retrograde which you know you can refer to the videos that I did I did uh, so far three videos relating to the eclipses you know I did uh, the grand solar eclipse which that one took place on the 12th of, um, of July you know that was a, a solar eclipse at 20 degrees of cancer and I've already done the one that is coming up um, or about the one that is coming up in a couple of days on the lunar eclipse and that one's called the Grand Lunar Eclipse. And then I did one that is specifically around offering frequency of healing, and that is Eclipse Healings. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm about to do one on the Mercury Retrograde so that we can offer some positive energy to that and to give a little breakdown as to it. A lot of people become intimidated and fearful when we are dealing with these different cycles. And, it's important that we not go into a place of fear because when we're in fear, we're actually breathing life into outcomes that we really don't want. 
And so, you know, we are literally the personification of God, the personification of love, the means by which God and love has become incarnate through the physicality of our own bodies. And so let us dance in the magnificence that we truly are and know that there's nothing bigger than us. Our trials and tribulations will never outlast us because they are of time, of time wherein everything has an expiration date and we are the stuff that eternity is made of unfolding down the corridors of forever. I am Astarius Miraculi. I love you so much and I champion you. I am your champion. I am your astrologer. I am your sound healer. So I do offer those services if you'd like to have a psychic astrology reading or sound transmission with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. I do that work in person, by phone, by Skype. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, we can definitely do some work and I would love to have the opportunity to serve and empower you in that way because it's even deeper when we get one-on-one -on -one like that. My website, astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com. And uh, if you're on the other side of the waters and you want to give me a phone call, you can always use WhatsApp to reach out, and that's plus one, 928-254-9535. That's plus one, 928-254-9535. I also uh, have a number of CDs and a couple of books, and um, I'm thanking you in advance for playing in the field of win-win. As many of you know, I give so much, and I love this giving, and I also very much appreciate when you give back and you go and make some purchases and, and get some of my products and, and my services. So go to my website and look at what's available there, because I have a lot of wonderful you know, things available, about 20 CDs and a couple of books. So please partake of those things. I'm thanking you in advance for that and thanking you also in advance for giving me the opportunity to serve you by way of a private session. And I also have a donation button on my website if you'd like to give a donation of appreciation for the different offerings that I bring forward. Thank you so much. And I'd like for you to give yourself a great big hug and pinch yourself on all four cheeks, top and bottom. That's a sacred cheekaboo. I know you've played peekaboo, but this is cheekaboo. We're going to play cheekaboo today <laughs> with ourselves. Oh, ho, I say, amen. Namaste. Hotel in la cash, a la in shalom, satnam, harion. Our sacred juices are cooked and infinitely expanding. Juice the far eye, bliss the far eye. May we always have many miles on our smile, wiggle in our giggle, tingling in our boots, laughter ever after, put in our strut, wings on our butt, always rising up for up at the top. There's room for all. It's just the bottom that's crowded, y'all. And so it is, and so it shall eternally be. Mm. I love you with the passion of heaven. <laughs> <laughs>